Hi, my name is Jackie Mafaga. I am uh, an inclusive, uh, disability inclusive uh, advocate. That's how I describe myself nowadays. Uh, so I'm a born again Christian. I'm a mom of three, uh, two girls uh, and, and a son uh, who, has, uh, who is on the autism spectrum. So he has a disability. My journey has been interesting, <laughs> exciting, sometimes frustrating. Uh, but overall, uh, it, it's been rewarding. It's been a very rewarding journey. The problems other children, other parents of children with uh, autism. So there's, there's um, access to education, um, just access to spaces, basic access to things that people take for granted. Um, understanding, even from neighbors, being able to live in a place where your neighbors understand your child and so your child can play safely. Disability can be expensive. Raising a child with disability, especially if they have um, health needs, a lot of health needs can be very difficult, can be expensive. The thing that I did was, was start ADAT, <laughs> ADAT Foundation. So ADAT, the full name is Arthur's Dream Autism Trust. And as a result of that, also started through the roof, which is a network of parents uh, who belong to to us, who belong, who are served by Edat Foundation. Uh, so they, there was that, and then also <laughs> I got to write a book about my experiences. So, um, so yes, so I wrote Raise Him Up. <laughs> so Raise Him Up is basically my journey with uh, with my son, and and I talk about what diagnosis at the early stage was. Um, navigating issues of, of school, issues of therapy, issues of um, neighbors, <laughs> issues of even you dying. <laughs> because parents of kids with disability worry a lot about what happens to them when they, when they die, what's going to happen to their kid. So I talk about, I boldly talk about, beginning the preparation of that. Uh, but then also I include a devotion because one of the things that, 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 that God did for me was um, help me understand how disability fits into his plan. That disability actually displays the glory of God. I, I worked in a place before where I was able to encourage the, the you know, like the employer at the point to actually build a, a series of five classrooms in a school in Eldoret uh, called Sosiani, uh, you know, for kids who have learning disabilities and or are autistic. That's actually one of the things that I'm very proud of. Um, the other success story for me has been walking through with um, parents who've had, who for, for their cases have gotten stuck for such a long time in the justice system, have not gotten uh, concluded, have been postponed uh, over and over again <laughs> to just help these cases come to conclusion and for the parent of the child with disability to get justice for their son or daughter who, who encountered, um, who was probably, you know, like uh, abused in one way or another. So um, we have miracles, signs and wonders happening all the time. If we just bother to like look and see the work of God happening in and around us. And I think in a church community, including persons with disability, helps us see what God is doing, how he's glorifying himself on a daily basis uh, using those people.